Oh, hi there. Now, this here's my boy Nathan. He's special. Nate, be polite and say hello to Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hi there, big guy. Oh, I see. Yet another burial ground for those sweet, addictive, not to mention cancer-inducing sticks of tobacco. I'm a huge fan. I hear ya. Nice view of the lake from here. There's a painting. Nice painting. It's signed L.M. No way. Was that Lily Myers painting? She was 16? Elk, by the looks of it. They're fairly common in Conwell Woods. Okay. I can smell something cooking. Oh, that's nice. Maybe we can eat here. I can smell something cooking. Okay. Uh, let's talk to Nathan. It's Nathan, Sue's mentally disabled son. Thank you for clarifying. What you doing, big fella? Drawing. Oh yeah? What are you drawing? The nice red man. You mean Santa? No, the nice red man. Now what did I say about raising your voice at strangers? Sorry, Mama. I'll be nice. The, the red nice, man is nice. The nice red man. Don't mind him. He gets so absorbed in his drawings thanks to that wild imagination of his. Just like his sister. Huh. Okay. Let's talk to Sue. Sue has nailed the tomboy look. I like it. Cool. So you wanted to ask me about Lily? Sure did. Yeah. Do you mind telling me what happened when my grandfather came to see you? Well, he knocked on my door a few years after Lily had passed away. I didn't know Joseph too well myself, but I'd heard of him and the good he'd done for the other people around here. So I let him in. He started asking a bunch of questions about Lily, like if I was absolutely sure that she, that it was suicide. And what did you say? The truth, that she was depressed and, and had been for a long time. I had no doubts about what happened. Hmm, all right, anything else? Well, he was weirdly curious about her paintings. Lily painted? Yeah. Yep, that's, that's one of hers right there on the wall. We saw that. See, it's beautiful. So, in what way was he curious? He asked if Lily had painted anything odd or strange. I didn't really get what he was after, but I, I let him have a look at her work. He spent some time browsing through them, and then he wrote something down on a piece of paper, thanked me, and left. Huh. Any idea of what he could have seen? Not really. I had the paintings all lined up. Could have been any of them. Hmm. Would you mind showing them to me? Well, I would if I could, but this is the only one I have left. I sold the rest many years ago to this weirdo art collector. Really? Yeah. Who's the uh, art collector? Tell me about this art collector person. Rich? Fancy looking in his 50s or thereabouts. I'd say he'd be around 70 now if he's still alive. He knocked on that door one day with a wad of cash in his hand. Five thousand dollars. He wanted everything that Lily so much as touched with a brush. Huh. Did he say why? Nope. But I got the feeling that most of that dough was paid so he could avoid any questions. Mm. I took the money. I still had Nathan to support. Did the stranger give you his name? No. Well, his face was far from forgettable, though. Big nose, bright blue eyes, looked black Irish. He had a thick black mane, turning gray. No beard. All right, Sue. Thanks. Mm, okay. So, tell me about Lily's art. It used to be about cheerful things. Landscapes, animals, bright colors. But as she drifted further into depression, she started painting horrible things death and decay and the last few pieces look like something out of a nightmare that's awful did lily ever get any recognition for her art not really except from the guy i told you about who bought most of her paintings hmm okay what else could we ask about i mean mind telling me what lily was like sue i'd be happy to she was nathan's older sister by two years. Lily was like any girl growing up, normal, happy, talking about school, boys and whatnot. 
and she and Nathan were close back then, always playing together in the woods. When Lily was 10, she started drawing, always doodling on just about anything she could get her hands on. Just like Nathan, Nathan is doing now. Really. And so she used what she could. Once I even caught her scribbling on toilet paper. <laughs> on her 12th birthday, we gave Lily a thick sketchbook with an assortment of pencils. She was ecstatic. That was the happiest I'd ever seen her. From that day, drawing became her life. Eventually, her art teacher at school helped her to get started with oil painting. When Lily was 15, something changed. At first, I thought it was just usual teen angst, but no, this was something different. She started going out, disappearing for long periods of time. She locked herself in when painting. She never used to do that. I tried everything. Counseling, support groups, antidepressants, nothing worked. About a year later, she just gave up. And well, you know the rest. I'm sorry, Sue. That must have been unimaginable. Thanks, darling, but it's been a while now. I've learned to live with it. What do you do to support the two of you? Mm, a little bit of this and that. Got me some cash saved up, too. Nathan helps out when he can. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? You could say... He didn't quite cope as well as I did with what happened to Lily. He got himself a death wish after what happened to her started drinking and getting into all sorts of trouble. Five years left for him in the joint now. Been there for 15. Wow. Man, that must wow. be well for you. Oh, we're doing just fine without him, aren't we, Nate? Mama takes good care of us. Mama sure does. Hmm. I mean, there's really nothing else... I mean, I can ask her about the incident. Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather? How he ended up in a wheelchair? Stroke, wasn't it? At least that's what I heard. Not necessarily. There are some divided opinions about it. Now that I think about it, that whole ordeal happened to him not long after he came here. How long? A week, maybe, at the most. Hmm. Wow, that's that's really soon. Why would she know anything about these? Does the name Charles Wade mean anything to you? Oh, he's some big time businessman, ain't he? Yeah, he owns a large company. That about sums up what I know about the fella. Hmm, okay. She, there's no way she knows about this stuff. I don't need to ask her about that. That's why I figured, but I, you know. I don't need to ask. Okay. Well, those were the other ones that we had. Um. Opens. Well, that's a bit of a weird question, ain't it? But no. It is a weird question. I'd rather just ask her about her daughter. To... That 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 sounds good. I'd rather just ask. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to figure out like what else we can ask her. Hey, Sue, do you recognize any of these men? Well, there's Joseph Rain. <laughs> Always so handsome. I had such a crush on him back in the day, and no. That's him. The man who bought the paintings. He's, he's much younger here, but there's no mistake in that hair and nose. Are you sure? I'm positive, little cat. That's the guy who walked into this cabin with five grand in cash. That's very helpful, Sue. Thanks. That is, that's good. Ugh. Another question for the elusive Mr. <sighs> I know, right? <laughs> okay, so you erased that. So the art collector is, is somebody in this photo of uh, soldiers. No reason to. No reason. I'm just I'm just looking through everything, man. No reason to show her. Okay, so she didn't leave any of those messages. No reason. Okay. What do you think about this church? Hmm. It's a good church. I go there from time to time. I bring Nate too, when that boy needs the fear of God put into him. No reason. It was fun the last time, but nah. Oh, okay. Don't want to bum more than one. That's kind of the smoker rule. It's like, I think I'm gonna head off now. One's the limit. Sure thing, little cat. Come back anytime. Speaking as a former smoker. Late. I should head back to the city. 
Achievement unlocked! Get on the Catmobile! Hey, you're still up. I was wondering when you'd show up. How did it go? Long story. I found out about some stuff that happened when I was a kid. Wow, what a mystery. So what's the plan now? The plan? There is no plan. The whole thing was a stupid idea. I don't know yet, but I'll figure something out. Some shut eye is the plan. I'm about to pass out. I'll say this one. I don't know yet, but I'll figure something out. What about this Charles Wade? You still haven't talked to him. Yeah, no shit. And that strange bright picture you showed me? Those tapes? Listen, I know this guy. Mm -hmm. Eileen, relax. We can talk about it tomorrow, okay? Aww. Oh, it's way too late now. No, I couldn't possibly sleep now. I'm way too excited. Well, that makes one of us. Nighty. <sighs> Good night. Nighty. Kids. Nighty night. <laughs> Good night. Hey, Kathy, wake up. Ugh, you are so lucky there are no sharp objects near this bed. Guess what? I got an idea. Please tell me it involves you taking a sabbatical. Haha, <laughs> so you found all this evidence, right? Pictures, tapes, and stuff? Mm -hmm. I guess. Why? Well, as you know, I have a computer. And I know this hacker guy, Dave, and... You know oh, a hacker? Mind. I'll just write you a note. You go back to sleep. Seriously, Eileen, sometimes I just marvel at how your brain works. I know, right? <laughs> Took a couple steps and then stopped. I have noticed that there's not a whole lot of movement in this game. Are you sure you want to do this, Catherine? What? You still have time. If you think there's any chance you would change your mind. I'm sure, Doctor. Just get it out of me. But please, don't tell my mom. I'm sorry, but we have to do that. It's the law. Whoa, this got into some serious issues. It's none of her business. It's my choice to make. I have enough shit going on with her already. This would just add fuel to the fire. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. Fine. Let's just get this over with then. Right this way. Ugh, I hate that dream. Day two. <gasps> I guess Eileen went to class. I probably should too. Going to class, yeah. huh? <laughs> oh, that's terrific. All right, guys, I'm back, and it's been about a day or so since I last played, but I got to thinking about some stuff that happened just before I stopped playing at last session, and I was thinking about the kid in the graveyard. That kid, I think, he said that his mom was around. His mom is Kathy. Crazy. I didn't even catch that the first time around, and then, like, after the last scene, you know, where she was in the hospital, it didn't click then either, but I, it clicked just randomly yesterday while I was doing other stuff. Um, and it kind of makes that line that uh, Mrs. Myers gave her about, you have no idea what it's like losing a child. It kind of makes that sting just a bit more, doesn't it? Oof. I mean, I could be wrong, but it seems like that's what was going on there. Hi, Cat. Feel free to use my computer while I'm away. My password is angel love without the quotes. If you call my friend Dave at 555-2492, he can set you up with some software. I'll be back in a few hours, super psyched about the investigation. E. Eileen. Yes. No gum on the keyboard, please. Remember the last time? Oh, what happened like last she time? She actually uses the space bar. <laughs> Shit. Looks like she forgot to write down the username. Oh well, shouldn't be too hard to guess. I think it's just some combination of her first and last name. Okay. Well, we got Hacker Dave's number. That's good. Adding more people to our Rolodex. Eileen borrowed it from school. She takes a bunch of computer classes. 
Uh, what a nerd. I'm no geek, but I know how to use one. All right, good. Let's uh, let's a use computer, it. That is not a geek. Thank you for clarifying. All right. So this is like Windows 95, I'm I'm guessing. All right. Accounts are locked after four failed login attempts. Ooh, okay. We're going to have to figure out some way to uh, guess her username. Maybe we just Okay, wait, wait. We don't have her phone number? We d you don't have your roommate's phone number, really. Is there something going on over here? No? Okay, let's uh maybe we'll call hacker Dave. I'm Kathy. Eileen said to call you about some software. Ellie who? Eileen. Red hair, glasses, speaks so fast her gums ache. Oh, right. I thought her name was Errol. Figured it was kind of a weird name for a girl. Oh my you god. You must have a hearing disorder. You must have a thinking disorder. Ha 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 ha, burn. Wow. Just wow. So, uh, the software? Oh, yeah. No, can't. Not really. Ugh, I knew she was full of shit. Nah, I mean, sure, I used to be able to get pirated software, but not anymore. There was this misunderstanding and my network privileges were revoked. Me and Clyde, the campus IT guy, don't really see eye to eye. We used to play bocce together and let's just say he is one sore loser. Really? Why not patch things up with Clyde? You're such a poser. You call yourself a hacker? Just use your brain for Christ's sake. Let's figure this out. Wow, you're so sassy, Nancy Drew. Well, uh, okay, only an admin account can change the access port. The only way to even theoretically crack one would be if Clyde logged on to a machine to which we have unrestricted physical access. And, ooh, I got an idea. I'm not gonna like this. Well, what you could do is intentionally crash your PC. That sounds especially stupid. Well, not crash it, crash it. Just crash it a little, then call Clyde. Clyde will come over to fix it. If you're lucky, then he'll log on to the network using his admin account. Afterwards, you can use some of my tools to find and crack the password locally. Worth a shot, I guess. Okay, you can come over and set it up. But no way. I have severe IBS. It just wouldn't work. IBS? What the hell is that? Irritable bowel syndrome? You seriously don't want to know. I'll have my buddy drop off everything you need. It's not rocket science. You do what I ask, and I'll give you some juicy software. Quid pro quo, honey. Whatever, weirdo. We'll see. All right. See you later. Weirdo. I like calling people weirdo, too, Kathy. What the hell? That was super fast. A thick white envelope. Okay, let's pick it up. Well? These must be the instructions from Dave. Yeah, that happened super fast. There was a floppy disk in there with a note taped to the back. A floppy disk? It's labeled boot. Oh. One, boot your computer using the blue floppy. Wow. Two. Use the corrupt MBR utility to crash the file system of the computer. Take the floppy out and reboot. Three, call Clyde at 555-8181. Tell him your computer crashed and give him the error code on the screen. He'll come over and have a look. It shouldn't take too long for him to fix. Four, now comes the crucial part. You need to somehow make him log on with his admin account. Five. Reboot and retrieve the admin credentials using the blue floppy. Six, reboot and log on using Clyde's admin account. Seven, look for some kind of tool to remotely open my ethernet port. Dorm B, room eight. That's it. And remember, if you mess up somewhere, just call Clyde and he'll have to take care of it. It's his job after all. Wow. All right then, I'm gonna have to, uh, to hear those instructions again, I think. One. Boot your computer using the blue floppy. Right. Two. Use the corrupt, corrupt MBR. MBR. Three. Call Clyde. Call Clyde. Five, five, five. Four. Now comes the crucial part. Five. Log in with his admin. Retrieve the admin credentials using six. 
reboot and log on you seven look for some that's it okay cool well uh i guess well wait wait stop don't use the computer come because it's off right now so we can just boot it with this hopefully cyberdyne systems oh wow i remember when it used to do that shit <laughs> Oh my god. Eight megabytes, guys. All right, corrupt hard drive MBR. Extract that memory. Okay, this should be easy. Ooh, MBR corrupted. That was very quick. Okay, so now we gotta call Clyde. All right, time for some expert help. Yeah, I agree, Kathy. Let's call him. Uh, IT department. speaking how can I help you um I got a broken computer Hi, I need you to come and fix my roommate's computer what seems to be the problem it won't start up there's some kind of system failure with an error code on the screen probably a hard drive failure which room are you in dorm a room five I'll be there in a few minutes thanks cool you better hurry your ass over here Clyde that was fast it's like he was waiting outside. Hey, Clyde from IT. Oh, hi, hi. Clyde. Nice glasses. Looks like that dude from Trailer Park Boys. My, oh my, now how did this happen? I have no idea. It was like this when I started it up this morning. Yeah, pretend you have no idea. Hmm. Let's have a look. Hanging out with Clyde in the dorm room. And presto, good as new. That's perfect. Could could you try logging on real quick just to make sure it works? You go ahead. I'll wait. Oh, I don't know. The username. Uh, maybe I need to lock my account. Is it gonna lock my account or, or what? Ah, you have to do an incorrect password. So her username is E Summers. There's a suitcase with her full name on it. And this is usually the format at universities, right? Uh oh, looks like we're running out of attempts. Oh no! Oh, now look what I did. For crying out loud. <sighs> Let me try to log in with my account. Thank you. Please do. Okay, everything seems to be in order. I've unlocked your account. Please, try not to break anything else. I'll try, uh, man. I'll try. Just, you never know what I'm gonna do. Okay, good, so now we, uh... Phase one complete. We retrieve admin credentials. Let me just read it one more time to make sure. It's so weird, I remember booting uh, computers with floppy disks. It was called a boot disk. Sometimes you could put windows on a floppy disk. That was fun. All right, give me the admin password. Admin gadget, really? Okay. Now let's just regular use it. Admin and gadget, really? That's pretty simple. For being an IT guy, he's got a really easy password. Welcome, Clyde. Yes, I am Clyde. Uh, network settings, dorm B, port eight, on. Right, that should do it. Seems really simple. It's a scanner, empty scanner. Okay. All right, let's uh, call Hacker Dave and see if it worked. Guess what? You got it? Hang on. Oh man, I could kiss you! And figuratively, that is. Right. I am so gonna get back at Clyde now. What are those admin credentials, by the way? 
Not telling, buddy. Saving those for a rainy day. Yeah. Huh. I suppose this nice floppy I've prepared for you stays in my room then. Sure. Then I'll just have to log back on and click that pretty little lock icon again. Now this is just emotional blackmail. Quid pro quo, Dave. Fine. I'll have it dropped off in your room. God damn, you're like a she Clyde. A Clyde X. Huh. That is the worst insult I have ever heard. Later, Dave. Nice. Is it gonna come in immediately after I hang up? Yes, it did. Special delivery. Let me have it. I'll just get rid of these notes now. I don't need them anymore. Okay. So, uh, that's so what we get. There was a floppy disk inside. Wow. Ah, uh, wait. It's labeled tools. Oh, okay. Well, let's uh, use this on the computer then. Well? I'm no geek, but I know how to use one. Wait, why is there another? Computer. Right, yeah. Use computer? Or the tools? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm Clyde, thank you. Tools. Software installed. Voice Forge and Image Analyzer. Drag and drop audio files to analyze. Oh, we can use that from the scanner. And gotcha. Okay, so let's put let's put this overexposed photo in there. And it'll just magically do it. Okay, uh use. What 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 are these magic programs? Damn. BMP. Oh, thank you for renaming it. Thank you. Oh, that's so so much better. Okay, so brightness filtering. What the hell is this? Like you wouldn't be able to do this, I'm pretty sure. Hang on. Wait, wait, right there, right, right there. Yeah, that's good, that's good. So like this, ooh, right there. There we go, the look at that. that. Ball lightning? I'll print the whole picture for now, but there's probably more to find. Yeah, print it on the fancy colored printer. The heck is going on? Seems like there's a lot more to this. Pattern analysis failed, please narrow down search area. Okay. Um, so voice forge. Audio files, how am I supposed to get an audio file? I guess I can't yet. Huh. Okay. Um, do I have anything else that I can scan in and, and use? Take the print out. I'll just get rid of the original picture now, since I have the restored version anyway. Strange. Now that I look at them, the lights remind me of something I picked up yesterday. What was that? What? what, what... They remind you of what? This? The photo of the soldiers? Grandpa in uniform with two other men. So... Well... Let's uh, scan it then. This picture is in good shape. I don't think it needs to be analyzed. All right, fine then. So what now, Kathy? The tapes can be put directly in the scanner. How? What? Remove tape. So this is the answering machine. We need to find out who these voices are. I guess. What what amazing technology, you guys. I didn't know this was available in 1995. This is uh Cutting edge stuff, even today. Still, this is a cool idea for, you know, the game. Put in Voice okay, Forge. Erica Wade, let's see if we can't motivate you to hear me out. Oh. Five distinct voices separated into sections. We can edit together a message from Charles. Oh my god. Because he mentions Kathy in the message. That's great. 
Oh, this should be a piece of cake. I, I fucking edit all day. You've reached the rain residence. Leave a message after the beep. Okay, I need to figure out how to do this. Okay. Oh my god, so it's just taking... It's just taking a bunch of words from it. I love this, uh... Old Windows look, by the way. Hello, Joseph. Mrs. Rain. It's me, Charles. I thought I'd give you a call. Erica just had her firstborn. It's a boy. Thankfully, he looks nothing like his father. Uh, listen, I was thinking maybe you'd like to come and visit. And what about your little Kathy? Maybe she wants to see the baby. Well, anyways, I hope to see you soon. All the best. Bye. Yeah, it sounds like we can do this pretty easily. Uh... Let's see, clear all. Okay, so... Let's see. It's Charles. It's Charles. Okay. Wait, actually, Erica. It's Charles. Uh, Kathy Rain wants to visit. Um... Oh man, how are we gonna phrase this? <laughs> I think that that's good. <laughs> just add a bye. I don't think I need to mention visits just yet. Making Erica agree to have a civil conversation should be enough for now. Wow, she's smart. Okay, uh, erase last. Uh, okay, so... How about... Call Kathy Rain. Bye. Almost, just a few more tweaks. That's not very specific. Are you making the tweaks? That should work. Hello, Erica, it's your father. Oh, nice. Normalizing voice patterns? What the hell? It's your father, that's a nice touch. And give her what she wants, bye. Let's listen to this, man. Right, the Ford's message should now be at the end of the original tape. Okay. What is all this shit? Internal error? Internal error? <gasps> what the hell? Calm what? down, Kathy. Think. Just what think. the? Fuck. It has to be some sick joke left in the program by Dave. Yeah, that must be it. He is one twisted fuck. Holy crap, man. You've reached Erica Wade. Leave a message after the beep. I don't see how those things work. Don't talk, Kathy. That action doesn't seem productive to me. No, play the message. That action does That combination may- What? How do you do it? Oh. Hello, Erica. It's your father. Call Kathy Rain and give her what she wants. Bye. Erica, this is Kathy Rain. I spoke to your father. He asked me to get in touch with you and said he would call ahead. Oh, wow. You can reach me at 555-8352. Bye. Pretty slick. Hope she doesn't have caller ID. Seriously. All right. Um, I guess just waiting for her to call now. Hello, Eileen. Oh, hello there, Mildred. Nice. Hi yourself, Agatha. What? Wait, how'd you? Oh, never mind. Agatha. Social security number two. 
Oh God, soon you'll start stealing my clothes and then walk around in them pretending to be me. Who says I haven't done that already? Okay, I admit that's pretty funny. <laughs> so anyway, how did things go with Dave? Pretty good. I had to sabotage your computer. It's better now. You had to what? It's better now. Oh, chill out. It was just a tiny little thing. I just needed an excuse for the IT guy to come by so I could steal his password. Clyde? But he's so nice. Why do you want to steal his password? It's a long story. And then I used Mr. Wade's synthesized voice to craft this fake message oh my God. which I left on her answering machine. Now that's some out of the box thinking. Yep, Thanks. this might be silly enough to work. Yeah, anyhow, feel free to keep using my computer. I need to do some homework anyway. Sounds good. I think I'll have another crack at analyzing the picture of the lights. Maybe I can find some clue as to where it was taken. Okay, There's I gotcha. There's also something strangely familiar about those lights. I have a nagging feeling that it has something to do with what I found yesterday. Okay, we'll, we'll take a look at him again, I guess. Weird that she's doing homework not on the computer. But, you know. These are the times. Okay, don't tell me I have to... Okay, good. I was about to say. Hopefully I don't have to, like, uh... Lower the brightness again. No pattern found. Unusual flower over there, though. Never seen anything like it. Maybe worth printing? Is that a hint? I'll print it. It's the only thing noteworthy in the in the picture from what I can see. There's some weird light over there. Okay, so like what else here? There's not really anything else here, it's just trees. I mean Weird. Well, I'll get that picture and see if that's enough to satisfy her. Okay. It's a bright red flower of some kind. Uh-huh. Could be a long shot, but I've never seen a flower like that. Maybe finding out more about where it grows could narrow down where the picture was taken. I tried to analyze the image and it wouldn't happen, so... I feel strange just looking at them. Ah, uh, yeah. A printed picture of the strange smoky lights. It appears to have been taken somewhere in Conwell Woods. Now that I look at them, they remind me of something I picked up yesterday. Yeah, see, I don't know what she's talking about there. What? The church brochure! Wow, the church logo looks pretty similar to the smoky lights. Took me a while I to get there. Visit them after all. But I got there. Church of the Holy Trinity. That's not Eileen's church, hey, is it? E, come check this out. Hmm? Wow, they're hypnotic. Looks like a will of the wisp. You know, the spirit of the forest. Now that's just silly, Eileen. There has to be a more reasonable explanation for them. Surely. Hey, there's nothing silly about forest spirits. You should talk to Meadow, my Wiccan friend. She's really opened my eyes about these sort of things. Isn't it your Christian duty to consider people like her to be heathens? Fair point. Isn't that the same male who had an intimate relationship with the tree outside her dorm? This is more interesting. Isn't it your Christian duty to consider people like her to be heathens? Oh, I doubt she could ever be more of a heathen than you are. Huh. I guess you've got a point. So, anyway, is there anything I can do to help? Well, my side of the room is starting to get a bit messy. There's always that. Haha, <laughs> I meant with the investigation, silly. I guess you could try to find out more about these lights. Maybe figure out where that picture was taken. I know exactly where to start. Good. Where? I'm gonna get some food now before I pass out. Okie dokie, I'll grab my books and get cracking. Eileen right, is- See you in a bit. Eileen is scary good at this. How does she know Kathy's social security number? Oh. Hey. Hey. So, any progress with the search? Yeah, I was able to identify that flower. It's called the Red Scythe, or Rosea falcus. 
I discovered that there was a small nature reserve near Conwell Springs, which was established in 89. The red scythe is on their list of endangered plants. Wow. I made a photocopy of the botany book page in case you want it later. That's something. I should go check it out. Maybe I can narrow down the place where that picture was taken. And, uh, good work, Eileen. Happy to help. So what... Oh, hang oh. on. I'll go oh, get that. Oh, it's her. Okie dokie. It's Erica Wade. Hello. Miss Rain, this is terribly awkward. I realize now how rude I was before. I wanted to apologize and ask if there is anything I can do. Rub it in or accept her apology. She was really rude. Let's rub it in. Not being obnoxious to people on the phone would be a good start, Erica. I suppose I deserve that. Now clearly you wanted to speak to me. So now's your chance. Oh, now's my chance. Okay. Let's ask about all of these. What can you tell me about Mr. Wade? My father is a great man. He has so many ideas, so much left to realize, which makes it hurt so much more to see him like this. See him like what? The illness and everything, of course. Right. Yeah, it must be hard. Right, yeah, we had no idea. I wish he wouldn't be so stubborn with his treatment. He hmm. could go to any state-of-the-art hospital, but insists on being treated in that backwater clinic in Conwell Springs. Interesting. A community clinic in the middle of town? We got yes. him. It's like he's given up and is just waiting for the inevitable to happen. Okay. What do you know about Lily Myers? She was a young artist who lived somewhere in Conwell Springs. Killed herself, if I recall correctly. Dreadful thing. That's not the, uh... That, not much. We never knew the family. Not a very sensitive way to put it, but okay. Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather that night in 81? Not really, no. But what I do know is how it destroyed father. It did? Oh, yes. The two of them were great friends once. And when Joseph was hurt, they hadn't been talking for some time. Father always hoped they would be able to reconnect one day. He kept putting it off, believing they had time. But in the end, it never happened. So, what were things like back when they were still good friends? Oh, they were like peas in a pod. <laughs> always sharing their war stories and, and laughing together. In a way, Joseph became the uncle I never had. He was around a lot when Father went out on business trips. Later on, I, I even met you a few times, when you were just a baby. I don't remember any of that. Well done. Oh, no matter. You were so little then. Erica, I have to ask. Why were you so defensive on the phone earlier when Seriously. I tried to reach out? Oh, I don't know, Kathy. Our families haven't been in touch for a long time. I don't remember exactly when it happened, but we all started drifting apart. My guess is that it had to do with father's growing wealth. Friendship needs common ground, and we started living in different worlds. What happened to your grandfather was the final nail in the coffin. Poor Father choice of words. Seeing him like that, neither alive nor dead. Okay, let's ask about cocky. Do you recognize the nickname cocky? It may be an Air Force call sign. I can't say that I do. Father had many friends in the Air Force, but no one I can recall by that name. Hmm. Now, he did buy Lily Meyer's art, so let's ask about that. What do you know about Lily Meyer's art? Oh, that little girl had a twisted mind, let me tell you that. Oh, my father used to have a few pieces of hers in his collection. Horrible things. I Horrible. I can't understand why he ever decided to procure them in the first place. You say, used to have. Did he get rid of the paintings? Oh, either that or... Oh, he put them in storage somewhere. I haven't seen them for years. I never bothered to ask him why. Glad to be rid of them, quite frankly. Do you know anything about the Church of the Holy Trinity? It's the one and only church in Conwell Springs. I was baptized there, and I married my husband there. Anything out of the ordinary about them? Oh, not really. They seem like a typical church to me. Hmm. Is that it? Is that all we got? Okay, that's all I needed. I guess that's it. Very well. Feel free to call back if you have any more questions. 
Huh. Right. Wade is in Conwell Springs. He's being treated in the clinic. So we gotta go there. We gotta go that to the clinic. Erica Wade. Her father is being treated at the clinic in Conwell Springs. Being treated? He's sick? Looks that way. Small miracle they managed to keep it out of the press. Yeah, I suppose you are returning to talk to him? It'll have to be tomorrow. It's quite late for that now. I suppose. Scrabble? Oh, you're so on. I will crush you. I like Scrabble. Except when people pull stuff out of the dictionary. Like, it's a real word. Can't stand that shit. Yeah, G Y uh, J K is a word. Pawn into a queen. Is that the plan, buddy boy? You know me. I'm always playing the long game, old friend. That may be, but you're running out of pieces. First you lost your queen, then your knight. All that matters is the king. Illusional as always. The king is dead. Long live the king. Check. What the fuck is going on? 